Um, hi, today I'm back in Poland. I was in Terra Madre festival in Torino in Italy, but now I'm back. Autumn is at its best, the leaves are turning yellow. It's been raining for days, so many mushrooms, I'm just scared to even go into the woods. Today I wanted to tell you about a genus of mushrooms called Lexinum in Latin. And there are various English names like um, Scabrus bolit or scape, uh, Scaber stalk, uh, because uh, I'll show you why it's got a uh, dark stem. So most bolites and all of the um, Scabrus bolites are ectomycorrhizal mushrooms, which have mycorrhizae uh, with trees. So you should know the species of trees and then you can guess w what kind of bolite will grow under it. Uh, we are under aspens here, so this is a, a, a red capped uh, bolete, a red bolete um, with a um, uh, beautiful orange cap and grow, grows under aspen. There is a very similar species under birch, orange birch bolete, which is a bit lighter, a bit more yellow, and um, this um, these dark thingies are even darker. I, had, I don't have it here, but um, this one is quite quite pale, the, the scabers. So all the species from this genus have this kind of blackness, kind of darkness on them. And um, uh, the underneath the sponge is quite of whitish grayish. So they're kind of grayish underneath and various colors on top. Now I'll show you the commonest one in Northern Europe, which is the birch bolete, the birch scabers bolete. Um, which is um, brown. I'm sure we can find it. It grows everywhere here. So it's a kind of birch and aspen grove with some more species. Um, <laughs> oh, here. That's a small one. Ah, a very small one. But also very characteristic. So more kind of brown grey. Can be nearly white so there are different varieties going from white to to brown to dark brown of course there are a few other species in europe that we can find we can find uh, lexinum uh, bolites under pine under spruce under oak under hornbeam and hazel but the birch ones and the aspen ones are definitely the commonest this is another birch bolete beautiful young ones so these mushrooms are edible they are excellent when they are young they're not as good when they are big in Poland we collect them a lot everyone knows them this is this is not the, the most highly appreciated species I would say it's like a um, a prize um, you know for people who couldn't find the true bolites but still people dry it for Christmas for soups um, it's because it becomes quite soft after boiling or um, processing or fry, frying. People usually use it for sauces and for soups. So it's not so much of a mushroom that you can kind of relish like porcini, like Boletus edulis. But still, the fragrance is brilliant. And of course, you watch for, uh, for specimens which are not full of worms because the, it happens very often in summer. But now... When it's cold, it's October now, they don't have any infestations, any maggots, and they are really, really firm and delicious, like here. Um, I'm surprised that uh, uh, not in many countries people actually enjoy them, but here in the Slavic countries, in places like Poland, Czechia, Slovakia, Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, we really, really like them. Um, so I wanted also to tell you about um, customs in about gathering mushrooms in Poland. We feel free to walk everywhere. If something is not fenced, there's a forest or a meadow, you just walk in. You wouldn't walk in a cereal field and you wouldn't walk in a meadow which is which is tall and it looks like something which is going to cut. So people usually respect it. But if it's just a piece of forest or or overgrown meadow, you would just walk in and look at um, uh, 
mushrooms and, and gather them and no one's banning it. Um, there are cases, of course, uh, people people putting signs private land more and more, especially near uh, cities. Sometimes even they face, fence a piece of forest and you have the right to do it. So the law says that if you mark something as your private and you fence it, especially if you fence it, of course, you can um, demand some um, fine if someone uh, trespassed, but the fines are very low and I don't know cases that actually anyone was ever pub punished. And uh, so uh, the mushrooms belong to the person that found them. And people even come up to my garden. My house is just here. And um, sometimes I, c I can see people peering here. And my land is not fenced. I don't separate from people in nature. And um, uh, so the mushrooms belong to the person who found them. Half an hour ago, my neighbor came up and said, oh, I found a hundred mushrooms just in front of your house. And I said, fantastic. And he, he was very polite. And he said, would you like to have it because it's your land? And I said, no, no, just, you know, be serious. They belong to you. So I came up now and came here and found another hundred. So when there are many mushrooms, they be they everyone has a chance to find them. And I think this is really, really silly, restricting people from collecting mushrooms. And the paranoia, which is, um, for example, in Britain, that people think that if many mushrooms will be collected, they will disappear. No. In Poland, everyone collects mushrooms, even in suburban areas, and we have plenty of fruiting bodies every year. And uh, the more you collect them, the more you get the smaller fruiting bodies. So actually, um, uh, if I, I notice it myself, if I collect uh, a meadow, um, if I collect saffron uh, milk cups, and um, um, uh, they they come up as a small, nice, firm. Uh, fruiting bodies each day and if I don't collect them they just come up big ones and they never appear again during the same season so uh, I think it's a paranoia also I, I'm really angry about these laws in some countries like Spain or Italy where they you know limit the access to mushroom collecting only to the villages only to the locals I think people from the cities really have the right to just drive and stop the car and collect mushrooms in the forest Let's do something about it because it's um, it's really, really annoying. Here you can see the whole diversity of red-capped scabrous bleeds. 